Hi everybody, it's Amy at Sight Connections here for your weekly reading again um, for February 5th through the 11th. Um, I have already drawn the cards. I have also am doing it from my normal John Holland uh, Psycho Tarot deck. Um, it's my go-to deck. I say it every week, so I might as well say it this week too. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Let's get started. Today's date is uh, February 5th, and we have some major energies coming this week, and there's a lot of uh, arcana cards. So 11, 11 is all about attraction, but it's also about balancing. It's a master number. Um, this happens to be balance. Okay, so this in the normal tarot is the justice card. Okay, um, it represents that you need to have balance and harmony in some part of your lifestyle. Um, there's still some um, soul urges to saying, hey, um, maybe you haven't quite got off your goals um, or started them. You've been thinking about it, but you just haven't or, um, acted upon it. This might be... Um, just to let you know that, you know, you put the act, you know, take the first step to get those going and make sure that it's, you know, good for all aspects, meaning, um, you know, your mind, your body, your, your soul, keep it all uh, together um, and have faith that justice or karma is going to do right. You know, just have faith that, you know, things are going to happen the way they're supposed to happen. And, um, um, let me see if I could think of anything else. Um, now if I'm looking at February 5th, it's all about change. So I'm assuming we need to change something and balance it throughout our lifestyle. And that's what I'm kind of getting for Monday. Now for Tuesday, I swear we're getting this card so often. I'm wondering if they're stacking the deck, but um, I really haven't been. This is about a number uh, 18, which is a nine. Nine is all about completions. Um, the shadow card, which would be the moon. Um, and normally with the moon, it goes with the moon cycles. Uh, we're starting to wave or now. Um, after the super moon, um, the energy is like slowing down, but the moon's still huge. I don't know about you. If I just saw it last night. It was huge, but I get the sense with this one. It's about emotional, um, life changes. It's about letting go of the past emotionally, not, not forgiving people, but Maybe it's forgiving yourself for keep on bringing it up over and over again. But, um, you know, you have to face something um, that you just haven't been doing. You've been not trying to face it. And coming up with that emotional um, aspect that it's just not what you thought, you know. And that acknowledge that, you know, that it's not what it was before. Um, I have notes on the back of the card and with my eyes, I got uh, different glasses and it happens to be um, not so hot. So I just, I made some notes to, um, because as I got the card, it was just flooding of information. So um, learn to be comfortable and have, and try not to avoid um, not feeling the feeling that you're having because it's okay. Um, you need to process those so you can let it go um, is the sense that I got when I got this card. Um, the That was on the 6th. Now we're going to the 7th. 7th is all about planning. And we got another 7 which is 16 equals 7, which is all about planning, um, re or relaxing, and restoring. Now, this is another major kind of card, disruption. People don't like this one. Um, it's like the towers, you know, 
something's going to happen all of a sudden and it's going to, it's life changing. Um, either it's a belief or something physical that um, you just need to prepare yourself for. Um, now, some people might think it's a negative and I, I don't think it's a negative. I think the situation isn't going to be pleasant, but I don't think it's going to be a negative because every time this is a great opportunity when, when our tower falls down and we have a foundation, right? It just makes us be able to build it up better and be better. Um, and if you look at it that way as a learning experience and um, take it with strive, feel the feelings and let it go and know that you can overcome anything that comes at you, then to, you know, it will be a lot better. And it's just remind, it also, I also got the th part of it. It's more of negative thinking because sometimes we beat ourselves up so often and that that might need to be torn down. So squash that little bug because nobody, we got enough negative stuff out here. We don't need our own minds doing it to ourselves. So, um, that is on the seventh on the eighth, which is all about manifestation. It's funny. I got a zero zeros are all about seeing things clearly. Um, new beginnings. Um, this would be like the fool in normal tarot. So there's got to have something. You got to start something. You have to, this is an action card. You got to start taking that leap of faith and put that foot out and know that everything's going to be okay. So it's basically, you're going to like on Wednesday, remove those negative things. And, and this is saying, go ahead and start talking to yourself in a positive light and believe that you can move forward and you will move forward, but you got to take, you know, you can't just think about it. You got to take action and it, and look at it as a childlike setting. So like new eyes on it, on the situation. Um, and it can be a good thing. Um, I'm still feeling a little heart tenderness. So you might still have some pain, but I think that's coming up on Friday. Um, so new beginnings on Thursday uh, after a life changing event. And then on Friday, because of the mental tax, you know, taxes that you've had Wednesday and, and Thursday, um, there are this is the mental card. It's for its foundations, right? This is rest and rejuvenation, meaning that you need a mental health break or, or day. You know, you just need to meditate and find out where you're headed on this day. Find out if you're on the right path still, you know, maybe your circumstances have changed maybe your wants and desires have changed that you, that what you were doing isn't what you really want to do um and take the time to heal those emotions because i get the sense that and let it go you know a lot of times we just shoved our emotions down and we don't feel them because we we don't think we have time or we don't want to seem weak but actually letting go of emotions is about the strongest thing you can do. If you know how to process your emotions, your half the battle is done. That's where your power is, is with your emotions. That's how you make people believe in you or, or feel you, um, is through your emotions. So if you can learn how to process those emotions in a more effective way where it's not you're not harming yourself because you're overeating or, or you're smoking or you're taking a drink because you just don't want to deal with it. If you can learn how to process them for a way of, you know, what am I learning, um, in this situation, I'm not going to say it doesn't feel good because, you know, 
that that's the whole point life is you're supposed to feel life we're not supposed to just go through it you know put punch in our time card and and sit there and work and then put, take off and not have that experience the emotional portion of it is what we came down here for um so we're going to take some time to get our faculties together now this weekend it's still more major energies guys and it's about a three and three is about expansion but this is a sacrifice card normal tarot would be the hangman um so something has happened to you that's out of your control and um it's when that happens okay you need to stop rest one and heal from it and be patient with yourself. You can't just jump right back in when stuff like this happens. Um, make sure you're feeling the emotions and, and getting it all released. There is no right way of handling emotions. I mean, we would love to just, oh, feel it and leave it, you know, um, but some of us still will be processing it. Um, this is an, and, and for some people, it's going to be a trans, um, a transformation time. When I see the hangman, it normally means that it, it's kind of reminds me of a cocoon and a butterfly, right? Because, um, the man is ready to transform into this, some, something else, whatever they, you know, want. And. Um, so you're in the process of transformation and with this card on Saturday, that's the best way I can put it guys on Sunday, we're feeling the love. Okay. Because this is the number six, but normally sixes are about balance, but on this one, I got a different sense. It's about, um, uh, guidance, duty, service, and love. Okay. I just got love. Now in normal tarot, this would be love, harmony. It happens to be fall on the 11th. The 11th is about attraction too, a number two, but it's about a mastering. It's about mastering love. I, I have a sense. And I think more of yourself, self love is needed after the week that you've had. So take care of yourself. There might be a partnership or a union and it could be one-on-one -on -one, and it could be an organization or group that you're going to get, um, come together to manifest something in the future. But, um, what you really need to be asking is what am I learning from this person or this organization? What new skills am I developing? Um, if you're not developing any, are you teaching? You know, sometimes we get into situations and uh, people to basically either we're there to help that person or we're there to learn. Um, all relationships are give and take. If it's not, then it just seems to fall away, um, at least in my as aspects. But this is your week and wow. What a week it's going to be, <laughs> but, uh, major energy cards, uh, all week long. And, uh, I hope, uh, you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. If you like what you see, subscribe, um, below and, uh, I'll see you next week. All right. Bye.